ready to cut the frame, but first I have to move these brackets back and I'm gonna take these ones right out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the grinder, I'll put a little slot into the, the um, rivet and then I'll pop them off with the air chisel. After removing the brackets, now you want to make sure you support your frame just so that it doesn't fall or move when you make your first cut. So I drew a line right here. It's pretty much halfway between this cross member and this cross member. And you want to make sure you have at least 12 inches on either side of your mark. You'll see why in just a second. The reason you want to leave 12 inches on either side of your center cut is to make a step joint. To make a step joint you have to take out the top half of one side of the frame and the bottom half of the other and they'll both slide into each other and it's much stronger than just cutting down the middle and welding it back up and it's the right way to do it. I just slid both parts of the frame together. Now you can see what the joint is supposed to look like and for added strength and peace of mind, you should also bolt a plate inside, which uh, I'll be doing. But first, let's weld this joint together properly and we'll go from there. Now that you've made your super strong step joint at the mid of the frame and you've welded it all back up, you wanna come over to the back of the frame and this is pretty easy. All you have to do is take eight inches off the back, you zip it off and you're done. I'm taking 11 and a quarter inches off the front of the quarter panel. The reason I'm not taking 12 inches off like the frame is because I'm gonna allow for this factory bend. And in the back, I'm gonna be taking eight inches off and joining it back together. I'm making the fender flares out of an old fridge. I just want to say that I raised the wheel arch 3 inches over stock. The reason I did that is because I want to fit some pretty big wide tires in the back while keeping the ride height low and I don't want to have issues with clearance or uh, rubbing with the quarter panels or the front fender. So I think 3 inches is going to be enough to get me by without any issues.
After evaluating how much work I need to do to this frame, um, I've decided I'm gonna be building a frame from scratch and it'll be able to support the amount of power I wanna make and I'm gonna be incorporating a roll cage into it. Uh, for me, it's a no brainer. And what I'm gonna do with this frame is I'm gonna use it as a template for my measurements for the wheelbase, uh, for the mounts and all that sort of good stuff. Now that I know I'm building a new frame from scratch, I can build it to whatever spec I want it to. I'm gonna be buying a car that I think is gonna make some excellent parts for the front end of my C10. It's a 2008 P71 Crown Vic. What that means, it's the police version of the Crown Vic, which comes with an aluminum front cross member, a heavy duty sway bar, and it also has the rack and pinion steering assembly. So it's gonna be perfect for what I need. I can adjust the frame to whatever uh, measurements I need to. And uh, there's a ton of aftermarket options for these uh, Crown Vic front ends, like adjustable coilovers. Uh, you can get the refurbished steering assembly for like $200. So a really good deal. I only paid $300. I didn't pick it up yet. So let's go pick it up and I'll see you guys in a minute. This is what the Crown Vic front end looks like. I'll obviously clean this up and make it look nice, but um, for $300, uh, rack and pinion steering assembly, aluminum cross member, and it actually drops the truck quite a bit. The reason you don't see many Crown Vic front ends on C10s is because the frames aren't the same width. So on Ford trucks, the frame is actually the same width as the Crown Vic so it just bolts right on that's super easy but since i'm making a custom frame i can pretty much do whatever i want so i'm going to build it to this width and it'll bolt right on just for an idea of what sort of look i'm going for with this truck i put some parts together and uh, this is what it turned out as so that's sort of what i'm going for rear wheel arch is raised but the front isn't yet so it looks sort of weird in that aspect but i'm gonna raise the front wheel arch we'll get to that eventually but not quite yet so I think it looks pretty good just like that. 